Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. Today I am gonna be making some beef tallow. I bought a big slab of strip steak and I cut it up into individual steaks and I trimmed off the fat. There was a big thick fat cap on it. I do like to have fat on my steak, but it was a lot. So I trimmed off the fat and I saved all of my fat trimmings here. It is not hard to make at all. I just simmer it on the stove in a little bit of water until it renders down into fat, and then I just strain it and put it into jars. It's really easy, but I'm just gonna show you the process. Beef tallow is a very healthy fat that you can cook your foods in. It's delicious. We like to fry our wings in it, and a lot of people use it for their skin as well and for soaps and that kind of thing. So it's very good to save up your fat trimmings and it's a very easy process. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the stove and show you how I do it. Okay, so I have my stock pot here and I have my beef fat in here. And I have put a couple of inches of water into here just so it doesn't burn. I want it to kind of simmer. The water does evaporate out, but you wanna make sure that it is not gonna be sticking or anything in the beginning. So I have the heat on about medium. This takes a little while if the chunks are bigger like this. It cooks down a lot faster if you take the time to cut the fat into smaller pieces. We have even used our meat grinder before to grind it up into really small pieces and the process is a lot faster. But I am just going to be home all day today so I just left the pieces just like this and so it's going to take some time so i'm going to go ahead and cover this up a little bit and let it go and i'll be back in just a little bit to update you on how it's doing so it is 9 30. this has been going for about a half an hour and things are starting to bubble here a little bit i turned the heat down to low and i just gave it a little stir put the lid back on and let it go. This is starting to cook down nicely and you can see that there is more liquid which is actually the fat that is rendering down and if you cook this long enough the water that is in here will pretty much evaporate and so it's just going. It has been just over three hours and you can see here we have a lot of oil in here and this is really cooking down it's just simmering on a really low heat and i'm waiting for some of these big fat pieces to render down there is some meat mixed in here that was attached to the uh to the fat that will not render down so that will have to be strained out but this is just an update just showing you how it is cooking down there's a couple little bones in there too i see so I'm just gonna continue to let this simmer on low and I'll be back in a little while. Normally when we make this, we make a big batch at once. We will use a lot of fat. We have purchased cow before. We have purchased half a cow and we have purchased a quarter of a cow. And we always ask for the beef fat, the suet, and we get big bags of it. A pot like this that is twice as tall as this and we will make a huge batch. But today I have just a small amount, but I wanted to show you the process of how to make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in to this jar. I have a funnel here that has a little strainer in it, and that is going to get a lot of the big pieces. I'm gonna pour it slowly. I also have a milk bag here that we use to strain too. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring this into here. So I strained all of the fat with the funnel and there were still some bigger pieces. I poured this, what was in here, to another big glass and I restrained it and you can see here there was some more pieces of debris, fat, meat, whatever left in there. So now I have a really clean oil and this will turn white as it solidifies. It's a lot like bacon grease. And I will store this in the refrigerator until we need it. So I'm gonna let this sit a little while and show you what it looks like when it is all solidified. 
Okay, we are back and here is my beef tallow I made today. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and it's nice and white and it has firmed up. And Ed's here to join me. And he is- like beef. <laughs> it does smell like beef. He has um, helped me make this the past few times that we make it because we make it usually in big batches. And he um, is there to assist me when pouring the big pot and everything. So anyways, what do you got to say about the tallow? It's nice. awesome. Frying up your food, your, especially chicken wings and that. Have you ever been to B-dubs here in the States? It's the exact Well, B -dub, Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings yeah. fries their wings in beef tallow. Mm -hmm. And so that's why they're so good. And these are so, this is so good to fry your wings in. You just have to be careful because if it splashes out and you have an open flame, you can have a little fire. So just be careful about that part. But other than that, it works great, tastes great, and you can reuse it once or twice if you don't burn it. Yeah, right? if you if you um, strain it after you use it, you can strain it back into a jar and put it in the refrigerator and use it again. If you use it for wings and you strain it and put it back in the refrigerator, you're probably gonna wanna use it for wings or chicken again because you're gonna have the flavor of the wings in the tallow. But other than that, if you fry some vegetables or something in it, you can use it for probably anything, so. So good. It is, it's really good. And it's easy to make and it's-, it's Super healthy too. Yeah, if you can't get a hold of beef fat, you can try going to your butcher. I have heard that some butchers will give away their, um, or even sell for a, sh a cheaper price. Um, beef trimmings that they trim off of beef. Suet, so suet. Suet, yeah. Um, where we have, we have a place up north and they have a uh, meat processing place up there, a beef processing place. And they actually have this freezer outside in this little shed. shed. And you can go and put your money in there. And honor you can, system. Yeah, honor system. And you can buy a big bag of the fat trimmings and three it's bucks. like, yeah, $3. So find out where you can find it and it's really easy to make so nice job thanks <laughs> so that's my video for today make sure you subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up and i will see you next time have a great day and god bless